All right. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Phantom Effect Podcast. Of course, I am your host, the Shogun of Phantom, the Bushido Geek, joined by Sam, the man. Ray. Hello. Oh, my God. I'm just going to pronounce different versions of the cosplay part without actually saying the name just to see like what iterations I can come up with. Cool. Good luck right? with that. I can't yeah. wait. Uh, let me let me turn this off because that's oh. on. Um, but so, so what we want to do today, if you're if you're new here and this is your first episode, welcome. Uh, pretty much what we do here is we just try to cover as many different fans as we can, and we like focusing on the independent scene. So we interview a lot of independent artists and directors and writers because we like shining lights on people that you know have a harder time getting out there. And then we interview celebrities and we do all that fun stuff too. But guess what? That's None of not that's this episode. Today. No, it's not. <laughs> not at all. Uh, today, we're going to be talking uh, Moon Knight Part 1. So the third episode just dropped today. So spoilers, if you haven't watched Moon Knight, you're not caught up. You might want to like watch Moon Knight and then listen to this episode. Like, uh, do it, forehead. Yeah. Yeah. So at first, so for first I guess first, like, what, uh, what's been going on? How you been? Uh, just fine. I started... My new job on Tuesday. That's right. Sat on my ass for a while because I had to watch a bunch of videos. And then today, while I was still sitting on my ass, until I spilled my entire bottle of soda on my pants. So nice. life is great. So you're, so you're doing good. Yeah. Solid. Sam the man solid, is solid rocking day. it. Yeah. You're crushing. You're crushing. <laughs> you're, 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 you, are, you are crushing. Uh, just life was like, you know what? We're going to make this happen for you. Yeah. So that's how my life is going. How's yours? Um, you know, there, there's there been up, ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, life is. Yeah, I, I was I was doing really good. Um, And then I can't name any names because they all know about this podcast. Someone decided to kind of just pull out of my life with a few other people that I thought were good friends. Um. And so it kind of just put me in a really bad mood. Um, but I just got off a stream and it went crazy. Bananas. Uh, getting getting closer to a thousand followers on, on Twitch, which will put us in like the top 1% of Twitch, which is pretty freaking insane. Um, so that, yeah, so on that, it, it went good. Yeah, you don't need other friends. You have me. That's true. And you'll also <laughs> beat people up for me. I do. I, that that being said, if you're so that if you're listening right now, and if you're mean to me, I will tell Sam, and she will beat you up. I am so, a simple woman. You just point in the direction, I start swinging. And yeah, so we like, so don't be mean to me, or I'll just tell Sam all your stuff, and then <laughs> you'll get punched in the face. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much been about it. I mean the new job is what it is. You know, it's what you doing. There's good things. You know. there, there, there's better things. There's worse things. It's definitely there's definitely more long term money potential. Uh huh. Like and just in terms of like regular bonuses and and all that kind of stuff. Money. That's what we're about. Yeah. Um. Well, that's about it. I mean, we're still working on a bunch of guests here. There's actually a bunch of people that I have to reach out to that we. We're we're not we're getting caught back up, but we both had to take a. Take a break. Like we st- we still released every week, but we both were like, we need like a few weeks of just releasing an episode and not going crazy. But now, like your job started, my job's in the kind of like the routine now. Like, yeah, I caught back up with posting YouTube videos. Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm getting more caught up on guests. I'm working on a few people. I, I still got more I got to chat to, but we're, we're, so we're all getting there. Yes. Um, uh, but please, everybody, that, check out the YouTube channel mostly yes. to see my sick ass thumbnails. Yes. That Mark likes me make. Mm hmm. I don't know if you've actually seen them. Most of them, yeah. Okay. Mo- most of them, yeah. Because I, I, because it's just, I mean, like again, like I, I just don't have time for YouTube right now. Where I'm like, but, um, but yeah. So we wanted to talk Moon Knight because their episode just released. Mm-hmm. I will say, depending Please, on how the rest of this goes, um, on, on how the last because it's six episodes total, right? You said correct. So. If it continues on the track it currently is with the episodes, mm-hmm. this might be my, my second favorite Marvel show ever. And what's the first one? Uh, 
uh, Agents of uh, Marvel Agents of Shield. Really? Yeah, I love that show. See, I got through the first like few seasons, and then it went. It did, but me. I still loved it. Okay, then that's that's all you. Then the, yeah. good for you. Good um, for you. Like I again, they're all I like the ones that have come out so far. Mm-hmm. But I got okay. So I'm gonna clarify. Clarify. Because technically, Star Wars is in that Marvel universe. No. It is enough where you know someone out there. He's going to be like, are you saying this is better than The Mandalorian? No, or, nobody's like, going to say that. But really, it's the internet. You really, really want to have, you really want to make that argument that the internet won't find something to complain about? Please leave a comment if you think that, is that, that that's Moon Knight is better than The Mandalorian. No, no, no. I'm saying, be, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, no. I'm saying, I know what you're saying. I do. Right. I still right. want people to leave that comment. Right. Well, because, because I said favorite, like Marvel, I meant, I guess I, I'm guess I, I said Marvel, not Disney. Um, exactly. But, if you said Disney Plus show, then people right, would have then a people would have jumped it. down my throat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fa- Disney Plus, it's probably like four, but three or four. But Marvel, Marvel, it's number two. Mm-hmm. And again, it could it could crack number one. I think I think it's phenomenal. I mean, I wanted to get into Moon Knight for a long time, even before they announced Moon Knight was going to be a show. I've had talks with um, Kazmierski. Um, about wanting to start picking up Moon Knight comics. Mark? Yeah, Mark. The last name really threw me for a second yeah. there. I was like, who the fuck um, is that? Because I wanted to get into Moon Knight more because I've always been fascinated by the look. Hmm. The all white look. Yeah. Like, I don't know, just in general, like like the same reason why I like Grifter from DC. I did I liked the initial look and then was kind of like, um, like I want to find out more about him, so I like I picked up some Grifter comics, and it's actually pretty good. Moon Knight, I never picked up the comics because I, I read up on more about what Moon Knight was and loved it, but I'm like, oh my god, that means the comics. Like I need to know where to start. Like I actually need to look up where to start. I can't just like pick up a random issue. Like I want to find a good run to to go with because Marvel has been kind of doing really shitty with the new runs of stuff that they're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Like. It's it's very inconsistent that like a show or a movie will come out and they'll re-release a run of that hero and then it's any good. Mm-hmm. So I want to find an older Moon Knight run that's not going to cost me like thirty bucks an issue. Well, um, if you want, Werewolf by Night number thirty-two, the first appearance of Moon Knight. Yeah, but that came out in like nineteen seventy-two. So that might be a little. I think <laughs> pricey. Just um, saying, you could probably find it. No, l- legally, right? Online, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? Um. Okay, I'll find I'll find I'll find a run that I want to get back into. But I I, I just I, so I've always been fascinated by the look and the concept of him and everything like that. And so then uh-huh. when they announced they were doing Moon Knight as a show, I again I was like, man, they are swinging for random fences. Like, is this going to be another one? This is going to be like their their TV version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Because Guardians of the Galaxy, for those of you who don't know the lore behind the movies. So random. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. And even Marvel admitted it. They assumed when this released, this was going to be their flop. They were like, whatever. We need to, They wanted something different to connect some of the people together and they were like this will probably flop but hey we can swap out people because it's guardians of the galaxy and fix it they assumed it was going to flop not like major flop but like no nowhere near like all the marvel movies have made money they've all made money but they assumed it was going to be like at the bottom of the list and i think it's like two i think it's like two or three now or no uh spider-man would have pushed it down it's like it's like in their top five one of the the first Guardians of the Galaxy movies, like in their top five highest grossing movies, uh, like ever. Mm-hmm. So when they announced Moon Knight, I was like, "Oh, this is their TV version of Guardians of the Galaxy." Because mo- everyone's heard of She Hulk. Maybe you haven't read the comics, but you've the, the name Hulk. Even if you're like She Hulk, what the heck? You know Hulk, right? Moon Knight. You tell me how many even comic book fans know the hell oh, Moon Knight Moon is. Knight is. Like, you tell me how many comics... I can probably tell out of the friends that I have read comics, maybe they've heard of Moon Knight, but they've sure as hell never read an issue. Correct. So, I am blown away by how good this show is. Oh, it's 
amazing. Just the cinematography, yeah. like that's just yeah. going on in the show is the like, suit looks incredible. <laughs> I love. Wait, wait, the, wait, wait. Which suit do you like more? The original. Moon Knight I, or Mister Knight? I think Mister Knight's hilarious, but I like Moon Knight's suit better. But I think the Mister Knight suit is just hilariously entertaining. That's I don't know a if real that's, thing in the comics too. Is it really? Yes, it is. Like okay. Mister Knight is a different whole persona. Right, well, because in this, that's what they're teasing, is that Mr. Knight is Steven. Yes. And Moon Knight is Mark. So the only thing I don't know is that he, he's a guy that has multiple personality disorder, right? That's the whole thing behind it? This is so... Does he show of Identity disorder. Yeah. Yes, that so is what it, he possesses. Right, okay. So I I love that as a hero thing. Like I call him, I'm going to call him a vigilante. No, that's literally what it's labeled as, vigilante. But... Because he kills people, a lot. Right. Of people. Well, depending, and Mark. Well, does, right. I, and I love. Even so I, I love that idea for a hero in general, like not just in, in terms of the show, like getting a hero whose powers change when mm-hmm. his different personalities kick in. Um, I love the him going in and out. I love him going in and out, but them not showing us the other one. I, I like it. When he just like he, he comes like... into the aftermath where he's like in a car or he was in that like he's in the car going to the airport. Or he's surrounded uh-huh. by dead bodies and he's like, how did how did this happen? Yeah. Also, because I, the other body took over. Yeah. So are, also, are they teasing a third personality? Oh, in the comics, he has a third personality named Jack. He's a cabbie driver and he gets information for like because people will like tell secrets to cabbies so he's like an informative kind of thing that's his third persona jack and i was gonna bring that up that i think that is what's happening right because there, there was just, two times was now today's episode they, they do that killed a bunch of people mm-hmm and so like, yeah, they say, and steven are like who uh, was it me yeah like steven what the hell did you do and he was like i didn't do that and he's like, like well, why i didn't would, do it either why would he and think I'm like, steven did it right yeah of all people so here was the i think <laughs> but i also like too how they because for half a second you're like is that a third personality and then Kamanshu says something and you're like wait did he take over his body like they give you enough doubt where you're like is it a third personality or did the god take over the suit for a second well the god took over I think well because the god took over his body Kanshu oh my god I was cracking up when they were in that like the pyramid of Giza Oh, yeah. And now the gods were, like, taking over the Avatar's bodies, and Kanchu is just screaming for yeah, no to the reason. Point, like, to the point where, like, the rest of them are just normal talking, and yes. he's screaming so loud, The his Avatar, Mark or Steven, keeps having to, like, adju- like jut and move uh-huh. around because he's screaming so loud inside his body. Right. Also, what a shitty, what the shittiest court of all time. Like, let's bring in the Literally. accused. Let's bring in the accused. Guys, I didn't do any of this. He's mentally unstable. Well, then clearly fuck that guy. Then you know what? We're done. Case closed. You go home, man. I mean, they tease it at the end that, like, the one guy's kind of in on it. Uh Uh-huh. When he's like, oh, you were right. Kamanshu made us imprisonment. Kanchu. It made made us imprison him in stone because he he turned back the sky Uh, for 2,000 years. That was so funny. I love that. I enjoyed that. I, yeah again cinema like and i also love how he like he's like tell mark to free me and i'm like how like did you just break the thing i'm assuming that's what it is well I'm assuming uh, you I'd, just smash it and then i'd be he... afraid to break it and then he'd be gone dead <clears throat> to put forever yeah I, i'm assuming uh which, which it's it's so I, I love that i loved him using the powers the way he did mm-hmm um I, lo- I love the fact that even the god doesn't seem to know all the personalities. The god just like, I picked this one and I didn't, I yeah, didn't know he, what I was picked, getting myself into. He picked into. the Mark one, I'm assuming because Mark's background is like training and like the actual training of the, of the stuff. Yeah, he's a CIA operative agent, whatever, whatever. Yeah, and Steven's just a gift shop uh, worker. Who owns Nemo. Yes. Also, what a in that first scene when he first puts on the suit and you don't see it, you just come back into the room of him curb stomping the the death like, jackal, the jackal, yeah, like yes. the death jackal thing. I was like, that's how you introduce a person. That's how you Hilarity. introduce someone because that's the first time you see Moon Knight. Moon Knight, yes. Is he just 
you just see him. You see the lights go off. You see him screaming, "Let me put on the suit. Let me handle this. You're gonna die. Let me handle this." Mm -hmm. And you just you kind of just see him go fine. And like then they go they send him they go out of the bathroom, and then they go back into the bathroom, and it's just him curb stomping this thing. No, literally. And I was like, "Hell yeah!" Hell yeah! Also, kudos to Oscar Isaac's acting in this. In like today's episode, um. When they were looking at the map, the puzzle pieces on the Jeep, and Layla was like, We need Steven. And he's like, Ah, fuck, fine. And he like, Yeah, he's like, rips Damn it, we mirror, do. Rips just the mirror to... off the thing, goes over into the sand and starts playing in the sand. But yeah, the, just his... to make this, just to make a hissy fit switch. No, literally. And then, like, his acting, like, you can, like, see the switch. Between yeah, it's, Mark it's amazing. And like, the, the camera work that they do for the switch and his acting legit sells it. That, I'm saying, like that. This is a that this is like this is a real switch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's so good. Truly, like is the action. Oh my god! It's, I, I couldn't say more good things about how good this show is. So, I think probably Jack will show up next episode since they were hinting at it this episode, that somebody else is just taking over. Yeah, it's... Uh, so I, I love how the villain is, like, a more relatable villain. Um, Like, in the sense that it's not... Relatable. They're not really going after the... Huh? Relatable? This well, man not, is putting broken glass in his shoes. Okay, yeah, I meant relatable as in like he's doing the whole, he's doing the whole good balance thing between good and evil, right? Like trying to prejudge people before, like the same thing, like people because people make that argument all the time, like oh, would you go back in time and kill Hitler when he was a kid to prevent him doing what he did? And this god's mentality is yes, like that's something I would do. Mm-hmm. I'll kill them before the fact, not after the fact. So I liked that concept of him. Uh. But I also really liked how the the guy that they're clearly going to fight for. I mean, yes, they're clearly teasing that the God's going to be released and that's who he's going to fight. But I like how for the first two episodes, the, the guy that they're trying to fight against is just this guy that happened to get power from a God. Well, he was the old Avatar. What I want to know is how right. he stopped being the Avatar of Khonshu and then got the, his funny alligator crocodile stick thing from Amit. Right. I, also, I like if, to know that lore. if you're going to display crazy power, mm -hmm. maybe not have it take 10 years just to destroy part of a sarcophagus. You know, he was being dramatic. It's for the, I just, for it's the thrills. Like, not, not only that, but he's literally trying to show up to like this international like bad guy and is just like watch me chant at you for five minutes and then i'm gonna make the lid on that sarcophagus sarcophagus collapse i was gonna I say could, he, like, i could i could that sarcophagus right pretty much. now it's like i could just walk over to the thing and grab what i know they're here for that would tell them where i am but i'm not gonna do that no where I'm gonna just I'm gonna destroy dramatics. just part of it, and then I'm gonna walk away for the flare. Yeah, spirit fingers. Uh, but I I love the guy changing like the moon, con country changing the moon in the sky as like, hey, I'm gonna get put into stone for this. But like in the first few episodes, you're like, dude, that god's a dick. No, literally. Like straight up, you're a dick. And then halfway through the third, you're like, oh wait, no, I get it. Nah, still a dick, but like still with a dick, but with I, reasonable reasons. You're I I I will accept you being a dick now. Like before, it was like, dude, you're just a straight up asshole. No, literally, because he would just be perched up in the corner and he'd be like, punch him in the throat. Yeah, just put him, beat him up, throw him over the cliff. Oh, I really that that part was funny when he was like, bring him I to the cliff. He'll he'll talk. He'll, he'll talk. Huh? I thought he'd talk. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like all right. I was like, good on good on you, man. Good on you, God. Uh -huh. Um. That so yeah, towards the end you start to relate to him a little bit. You're like, oh, I get it. Like you're a dick, 
But but you're like a dick who's like trying to save the world and like like actually legitimately try to save it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the I think everyone's acting in this show is phenomenal. The girls, um, I can't remember what her name is supposed to be, but like Layla. Yeah, uh, the angry museum curator. Oh my god! Just being pissed off at a lazy employee. So what I think is really kind of funny. I love, I I don't love. I think it's interesting when Marvel takes characters that were already made, but then changes shit about them. Yeah. Okay. So Stephen Grant, one of his identities is actually like a billionaire. Okay. He's like Tony Stark, kind of like a billionaire playboy philanthropist. Right, 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 right. Kind of thing. And then in the TV show, they make him a museum employee. Like, what? Like, I want to know, like, how Marvel <laughs> thinks. They're like... Ah, he's got a whole, like, identity. Let's change it. Like, why? Like, why? Because they do it for a reason, but, like, why? Yeah. I, yeah, maybe Mark's supposed to be the international playboy. Or is it supposed to be Steven? In like, the, in, the st- in the comics, it's Steven who's the billionaire, like, th- oh. philanthropist. That, that he plays like I don't want to say he plays that persona because that's not how. Just, I, do you think they just didn't want? Do you think but... they just wanted? They just didn't want a Batman thing. So in the recap I was listening to do today, he was like, "I promise, he's not Batman, but like Batman." <laughs> but like Batman? Yeah. Well, I okay. That was funny. I'm gonna say this. Oh, hot take. Because you guys know my thing. Better, better, better version of Batman. Better version well, of Batman. Yeah. No, I'll agree with you on that one. I'll agree with you. That's a hot take, but I'll take it. Sorry, am I bothering you? No, sorry. I, I got I, I got something else that like pinged in uh, <laughs> that I had to like address really quick. Um, but so I think to I, I like how the like when they're doing the action scenes, right, and we don't see them. Mm-hmm. They do it in a great way with a camera that, like, makes it, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, like, okay, like, so my, the best com- comparison I can give would be, would be Daredevil, right? Mm-hmm. Where you're seeing the entire thing. Mm-hmm. And it's insane skinema- in cinematics. Cinematics. And, yeah, I can't talk. I'm so hungry. Um, but this time we're not really seeing much of any of the action. Some, but really not much. No, because it's him switching between his identities. This and then this, we like this feels more brutal to me than oh, watching Daredevil. A hundred percent. Even not seeing it, like it's insane. Like I'm not seeing any of the stuff, but I'm like, like that scene where he he the third persona took over again, right? And he, they mm-hmm. come in and he's mid stab. Yes. For that guy. Yes. That's insane. Like, I, literally, I, what can you I imagine think... that, right? You come out of, like, a personality, and you're legit mid-stab of killing someone. What I right? think you're it like... is, I think it's because when you watch other things, there's the build-up. You're watching them fight to the stabbing. But with this right. one, it's, like, shock. You're like, oh, stab. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. So it's, like, you're more like... like... You see them switching, you're like, oh, God, what am like, Because now, now, after three episodes, you kind of get used to it, and you're like, oh, you're God, like, oh, God what's, 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 what's the switch going to be like? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then you come in and you're just like, oh, God. Oh, God. There's they're so all dead. dead. There's just so many dead people. Like the yes. scene in the town where they're grabbing him to bring him away and Mark takes over this time. Uh-huh. And he comes in. He's just full covered oh, in blood. blood. And he's like. He's oh, like, that God. wasn't me. Guys, I'm so sorry. Um. No, it wasn't me. Like, Bye. Like, he like, tries I, to leave. I'm going to go. Um, After that scene, what I thought was especially funny was he was driving away in this getaway cupcake van. And he's like, I don't even have a license. 100% yeah. knows Mark probably does, but Steven has no Steven license. Steven has no license. Name. And he's still dr- like It's, yeah. it. They mix in the comedy elements so well. Where it's not like. It's not overdone. you correct. Like. It, it's not even really that much. It's like one or two things per episode. You're kind of like, huh. Like My everyone, name is Steven with a V. <laughs> yeah, like everyone relates to that. <laughs> everyone relates to a boss shitting on you, regardless of how well you're doing your job or how well you should be promoted. Because it's it's very clearly like that dude should be a tour guide no, for literally. the museum. 
but he won't get it because his boss hates him. Uh huh. Uh, I also love how the gap makes him miss his dinner date by two days. What I also thought was real funny, because <laughs> I'm sitting here, because he doesn't know who made his date, because it wasn't him, because it was, it was for a steakhouse, and Mark, Mark says in the... Well, no, because... Well, it could have been the third one. Because is Mark going to uh, cheat on his wife? Well, there are, he already is trying to leave her. Yeah, but like... Think about it. If he's trying to push away his wife, right? He, what better way to push her away than by starting trying to date someone else. Yeah, but I feel and like I mean, it's not that kind of thing. Like, I feel like he's more or less getting okay, so, away from her to protect so do you, her from Okay, Kanshu. so do you think then? No. So is the third not persona usually. not going to be a cabbie and is going to be the billionaire? Well, that's the thing. I don't know. Like, they switched Stevens thing. Okay, so is the billionaire also a master in e uh, Egyptology in the comics? That I'm not sure about. Because, okay, so that, because this would be my theory. Yes, if he's not, right, and he's just a billionaire who is a billionaire, then my theory is that's the switch they made. The information getter is now Steven uh -huh. because he knows Egyptology and okay. he has that he has that kind of trusting mentality where people are more kind of willing to just tell him things because they're like, look at this guy, he's pathetic. Like, what's he going to do? Right. And the billionaire is going to be the third persona who made the date with the girl and who killed all those other guys. Yeah, because I just... In, that if in the comics take. he is uh, also a billionaire and a master in Egyptology, then that my whole theory goes kaput. I mean, I can quick look up Stephen Grant, but I may get Captain Rogers. Hold on. You really, you probably could. Um, so I know we're, we're wrapping up soon here, but I there's a lot of things why I'm blown away about this show. Um, I'm also very excited to see where they're going with it because they make it seem like at the end of the third episode that he lost his powers. Oh, 100%. Which he has had his, in the comics, he has had his powers taken away from him before when right. he was like, can't you fuck you? I don't want to do this anymore. And then yeah, so other like, things... all right, well, screw you, man. I'm, I'm taking my shit. And then other times he'd be like, hey, homie, give it back. And Kanchu's like, yeah, he go. All right, here you go, man. Yeah, I can't yeah. stay mad at you. No, that's literally what it is. Also, because I have no one else willing to do this right now, but I can't stay mad at you. Um, so this, I think this will be an interesting fourth episode because it's like, what are, what are we going to see? Like, he's obviously going to get his powers back maybe after like one episode. Right, because it's got to be, it's got to, there's only six. Right. We need we need a two episode fight with a god, and that has to be Moon Knight. Um so like I I want that. Um like that I'm looking forward to. I don't know, there's just so much. Right. There's I just mean so much. What was I reading earlier? Um, I, I, I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I still don't know, by the way. Thank you. I'm trying to look up, like, I typed in yeah. Stephen Grant, and it keeps just coming up as Mark Spector, because in the comic, Mark is the number one body, like, person in the body, on, like, where in the TV Not, show we started oh, with Steven? Steven. Yeah, no, the original person is Mark. Hmm. That's why I'm, like, not finding much about Mark uh, about Steven because every okay. time they refer to him in the thing is oh Mark Specter Mark 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 Mr. Specter blah 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 hmm okay but uh ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. I don't know what, it's just yeah. singing in the mic what do you what do you how do you think it's gonna end Oh, buddy. Um, let's see. Well, I was reading earlier today that there, there was somebody called, like, Black Knight or something like that. In Marvel? Yes. It's oh, like yeah, Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's actually Black Knight, though. It's something else started, that, like... I started to pick up those comics. It, it uh, had to do with, uh, like, you know, the opposite of Moon Knight. It's not Sun Knight, because that'd be too redundant. Um, quarter, quarter Moon Knight. 
Exactly. Full uh, moon solar night. solar eclipse, eclipse night. night. Yes. Um, um Blood Blood Moon Night. Um moon night. uh No Moon Night. Uh-huh. No, you're you're getting it. Um Half Moon Night. <laughs> I'm trying to look uh, it up. Crescent Moon Night. Um Just keep coming. Just uh, that's gotta be it, right? I don't know. Um waning moon night. That's oh. another term. That's another moon no, term. Isn't like like something gibbous? Black Spectre. Oh, of course. I think was the name I was looking up. Well, I knew Black, and then I thought Black Knight from Eternals. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I think it's... Okay, so they obviously are going to do a season two, because the show is going to be... It has to be doing insanely well. So I'm going to imagine a season two. So I'm right. going to say it ends with a fight with the god who they don't kill, but they kill the avatar of the god, the creepy guy with the staff. Yeah, because you can't kill a god. No. Well... Easily. You can imprison it in stone. That's also true. Or bury him, like what Ahmed is currently chilling yeah, out in. Yeah, put him in stone, and then he breaks out in, like, season two or season three or whatever. Something but that, that's, that's, that's my thought, is, is that happens. Yeah. I had a thought, and I lost it. Sorry. Smart. Thank you. Smart, 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 smart. I'm really just waiting and wanting for Mark's, like, actual backstory right because we got stevens do you th okay so here's a better question to end it on do you yes. think the third persona shows at all in season one or do they save that for season two no i 100 percent think they're gonna show it it may be like like a little like teaser like he may come out like once or twice i don't think they're gonna make a big deal out of it because they're really focusing on mark and steven Right. But they're already hinting at it in this episode, this past episode. They are. I I think it's going to be like a an end boss thing mm. where he where he shows up. He shows up like in the final fight uh, yes. with um, Amat, Amadi? Amit. Amit. Is that it? Did you even watch the show? Yeah, but I don't do pronunciations. They're saying it out loud. That's not the same thing. Oh, my God. OK, whatever. That's just what I... And I know we're probably going to be getting it soon. They changed it again from the comics on Mark's backstory because yeah. his wife in the comics is named... Oh, man. It starts with an M. Marlene or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, her father was killed in, like, an Egypt... like archaeologist like egyptian kind of thing well they gave that same story right. to layla and mark was involved okay. in that which is how he found Kanchu. he got like he was dying and he got like placed by Kanchu's statue and Kanchu's like i'll save your kid and slaps him awake oh but by the way i like essentially own your soul and you have to right. do what i want and if Literally. you don't do what i want i'm gonna turn your wife into my next servant it's a whole thing man so you might as well just do what i want exactly he also has a best friend named frenchy not his real name. His real name is John Paul Duchamp, but he's French. So Mark in the comics calls him Frenchy. Mm. Well, so again, we I'm haven't we haven't really we up. haven't really seen much of Mark's life yet. Not at all. Other than a storage locker. The storage, storage locker and his wife. Right. That's and that's it. it. Yes. Yeah. So hopefully we get some more tidbits. Yeah, and it, what's funny too is that they do seem to tease though that even though they're focusing on Steven, that Mark is the dominant persona because Mark even says in the last episode, I had it all under control until recently. Mm -hmm. And she says, and she essentially is that, like, asked, tries asking him like, well, what happened recently? Which I think is another tease at the third persona. Like, Busting coming, out. Like coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's and instead why, of having to just fight Steven, he's just he now has to fight two different personas to keep it in check. Right. So now he's like, I don't I don't know. And because Mark knew about Steven, Steven didn't know about Mark, which would Correct. indicate that Mark is the dominant persona. Mm hmm. It would also indicate that because Mark's able to keep control over Steven if he wants to, whereas Steven can't hold on to the control over Mark. Not what I thought well. was really funny in today's episode also when they're fighting in that like sand pit kind oh, of thing. Oh, and he stops and goes, let's everyone chill out. And yeah, he's like, give me the body. Down. So he gives Steven the body, gets 
stabbed. He's like, you like take the body six, back. Four, yeah, get stabbed like four six times. Five. He's like, Mark, take the body back. Mark, take the body back. Mark, take the body back. Take the body back. Yeah, and then Mark takes over. It's pretty good. Oh, yes, it's I so enjoyed good. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So final thoughts. A plus. Yeah. A, yeah. A plus. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Go watch Moon Knight. It's so good. Right. Go um, watch it again because if you've made it this far, you've probably already watched it. Right. Go so watch go it again. Go watch it again. Yeah, I can't wait to rewatch it when all six episodes are out, and I can just binge watch it. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna do it. I'm starving. I, yeah. I need to eat. Uh, but don't forget, everybody, make sure you go to our Facebook and Twitter at Phantom Effect uh, and our Instagram as well at mm-hmm. the underscore mm-hmm. Phantom Effect. Follow us on all of those, and you'll find links to everything else. And you can listen to us on every major podcasting platform. Literally, just pick one, and we're on it. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us. We have a lot of stuff in the works, which did get delayed. Yes, but it is still being worked on. Don't worry about it. Um, you can f- catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Bushido Geek, uh, where we do some podcast stuff as well. We do. And yeah, sometimes. <laughs> uh, new episodes every, we switched back to Fridays. It's just with Sam's new job schedule and, and everything, it's, Monday to Wednesdays was not working. so Not at all. Um, we're switching back to Friday releases, which you guys seem to enjoy uh, that more anyway. Mm-hmm. And if you don't get sick of hearing my voice, you can catch me every Friday too on Dad's Anime Stash. So lots of things. But we'll see you guys next episode of The Fandom Effect. And don't forget, end of the month is the Fandom Roundup. So if you don't miss, if you miss something nerdy, we'll talk about it at the end of the month. Comment. Tell us what we should talk about at the end of the month. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Are we done? Yeah. Oh, we're done? Okay. I'm ending it right now. Okay, bye. There you go. I was waiting for that. (laughs)